This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so total course fees. I'm adding this. I have removed. I deleted that uh, last one Excel sheet, guys. Just add the course fees. Okay, so like that we can create a lot of fields and which tab guys a student tab. Okay. Good. Okay, so in our last class, what we have discussed, just a recap, guys, reminding we have discussed about project, right? Uh, like in real time, if you get a project, what you can do, okay? Like in agile process, what we have all the things done, uh, like how you get the project, once you get the project, what your team can do. What is your scrum team? So a lot of things I explained, right? Yeah, it's a scrum team. And in that, so product owner will be there. He will collect all the requirements for the entire project. And he keep all the requirements in one place. Generally, we can call it as a backlog, but later we will get to know. And after that one, so every month, so they will finish some of the work and they will move to production like that they will do, okay? So if the project is six months, they will divide into like, I mean, think in that I'm just giving example guys. Okay, in real time, it might be one year, it might be one and a half year, two years. Okay, but I'm just giving one example. If the project is six months, uh, for six months requirements, so our product owner will uh, write all the things and they can keep in one storeroom kind of thing called a backlog. And the <clears throat> For every month, whatever important requirements are there, I mean, we can call it as a user stories. Requirements are nothing but user stories. In Jira, we can call it as issues. Okay, and all these things uh, they will assign it to. I mean, they will so get it and they will work on every month. They will work on like that. And even every month also they can divide it into two parts. First half, second half like that. Okay, in the first half, some some I mean, few requirements they will complete. And in the second half, few requirements they will finish it like that. Once uh, two hours are completed, they will um, move the code to production live. I mean to say, so like that it will happen. Okay, so our project is what student institute project institute application, and uh, this can be used by VLR training. Not only VLR training, our client is VLR training right now. Yeah, you can do like that. Any institute they can utilize this application. Okay, and your client is VLR training. You are the developer. Think in that way. You are the developer. All people are developers. You need to implement the work which is coming from VLR training business side. Okay, and from your team also, some I mean, a product owner is there. So he will create or she will create all the requirements, functional requirements. Once that is done, so your product manager will assign those data to you. I mean requirements to you and you need to start working on it. That's it. Okay. So that's what here we are doing. Okay. If any our business is in institute business and what they are doing is they can sell courses and so they give advertisements, all kind of things they can do. And based on that one, they will collect the students and who are interested for demos, they can come here and they can attend the demos also. So you are attending demos right now and we will collect your data and if we collect your data, how can we store in Salesforce and where and what are the fields we can use like that. So student, just compare with Excel sheet always. Generally, if anyone want to store your data, generally they will store in Excel sheet. If they want to store in Excel sheet like this, they can do. What is this one? Tab, student tab and your columns. 
okay and same thing this excel tab if i want to store in salesforce how can we store so here tab is nothing but object in salesforce here tab is nothing but object in salesforce and please don't compare with excel sheet tab to this tab okay, this tab is different that tab is different. here column is nothing but in salesforce field in a code salesforce field okay here row is nothing but record rows are nothing but records okay so that's it guys okay and some people okay please don't compare with this tab this tab is benefit is what just to show hide and to delete create to update the records purposes but the main is what object if you have object so then only you can create fields then only you can create a records if you don't have object you can't create anything okay if you have object then only you can create fields then only you can create records and if you want to create records you need a tab that's it without a tab you can't create records right now there are other ways that we will see later that's we completed next our intention is what to finish the remaining so fields data also we need to finish it so looks like till country state city we have completed next address okay so if i want to add some address how to add and i need to create a field in salesforce let's go to if i want to create a field address field i need to create address field guys if i want to create address field what i need to do on the object only i need to create so object means except records everything you can search from here only metadata except records you know record meaning is what data that's it that meaning everything you can search from quick find search box so let's come here what is that objects so search for objects click on it and you see here okay city name country email state like that and next you need to create a custom field column is nothing but ticket here it is field address field right okay now see what type of data type i mean i need to select address means it contains a lot of details guys like street address so what i need to do is so can you check here like text area and even i can select a text also address means some matter will be there matter means the text only we can add but i want to go with the text area and how many characters it will take maximum 255 characters okay so let me show you what is the difference between text and text area i can say you can think right text is there why you are going with the text area i will show you why i am going okay click on the next button address okay same mohan yeah if you are not feeling comfortable it's okay we can continue on monday no problem this I, at least I, i have come from far right so it is uh, 15 minutes at least i want okay. no problem if it is more pain right so then i can start that's why my voice is also very low mm-hmm. okay yeah now i have created a field right now what i need to do i need to add the data okay so let's go to any record and you can see address field and edit it and let's see the difference so what is the text field here guys city name is a text field so you can enter up to 255 characters so city name is a text field okay but address is a text area there is a data types guys address is what a text area so how what is the difference can you see here there is a difference 
you can drag and drop i mean sorry you can so expand and collapse like that okay so this is the difference this flexibility is there in text so area field but in text the flexibility is not there what is the street can you say in jewelry in bangalore can you say anyone say martali right martali Just giving it the main guys, okay? That's it. So you can see the benefit guys, text to text area. City name is only text and the address is a text area. But you see right, that is the flexibility of text area. And both characters is maximum 255 only you can enter it. Maximum 255, more than that you can't enter. This also, how many characters maximum you can enter? And the minimum zero. Minimum zero to maximum. So minimum from one to you can take it. Okay. So that is the address. Okay. Next. Educational details. Okay. So next is what educational details. They want to, so like they were. Uh, they want to store your last educational and the previous educational and uh, school 10th class intermediate board and uh, BTEC or MCA degree like that they want to store okay so uh, with this I will finish it guys I can't continue so pain is increasing okay so educational it really means again they need to uh, have like that box kind of thing okay they want to store students educational details we all are institutes want to store so what we can do is again we need to create one more field to store the details so if i want to go to that field and tell me what is the navigation we are we know set up set up object okay search for objects and click on customer and you go here and create it so as of now this is what like i said traditional or normal way of so going to the field and creating to that one right as of now we have not seen any shortcuts to right quickly so close this one okay so we are familiar with this one setup search for objects go to object particular object create a custom field that is the standard navigation everyone know i hope and once you are okay then so quickly i will show you now i am on students tab and i need to go to that field i mean i need to go to that object detail page and i need to create a field so to create that one so here right side can you see arrow symbol click it so quickly you can access it what is this one quick access menu quick access menu bar simply quickly you can access metadata things quickly so your name is here i think so here yeah can you see expand the quick access menu right here so from here directly you can go to object so click on view object okay so traditional way we know normal way regular way like setup set objects and quickly also we know now how you need to expand this one and click on object once you click on on which object you are there student object and you go down and create a field like this by clicking on new button okay so this is a shortcut okay some people might think suppose i clicked on right now i am on context and if i click on quick access menu which object i can view so you can view only what tab contact tab so for what object this tab is created contact object so if you click on view object which object you can see contact okay which object you can see contact object and how to create fields and all these kind of things here links are there you can click on it from here okay these are the standard going forward you will see 
total. Suppose, and right now I am on assets object. And if I click on the tab, which object I can go? It's object. So you can see assets object. So that means if you want to go to students right now, okay, some people will think, right, I am on assets. Okay, they don't care about these things. They can click on it and they can click on the object. Hey, sir, why I am not going to uh, students tab, uh, students object detail page, it is taking me to different object. Any reason? Because they don't observe all these kind of things. So that's why I'm saying you need to click on that particular tab and from that only you can go to that particular object. Good. Next. So create a custom field. Okay. From the object detail page. And now what data type I need to select? Educational details means they want to see your all educational skills. Like so last education, last qualified and, and uh, marks percentage, everything they want to see. Last qualified and inter 10th school days, like uh, central board means whatever it may be. So they want to see all their details like mark list in a box kind of thing they want to see in a box kind of thing like this they want to see okay and whatever you have achieved in your educational so right achieves all these kind of things like this in a box they want to see so like that kind of box if i want to get what i can what i can use so you want to select the one I, I will do so new website. So text with text, how many are there? One, two, three, four, totally five are there. Okay, you know text text area, but you don't know text area long and text area rich and text area encrypted. Okay, so let me try with text area rich or text area long. Okay, first go with text area long and then we will see text area rich. Go to text area long. And what is this one? Allow users to enter 131. So these many characters maximum you can create it. Okay, guys, this is the last one. And so pain is I mean, much more pain is there. Educational details. Okay, uh, sorry guys, I can't continue. Okay, sorry for that. This can't.